مرحبا في in this session we want to talk about the greatest common divisor of two integers okay but before we start let's recall what do we mean by a divisor of an integer so we say that an integer k is a divisor of an integer n if and only if k divides n and what does it mean that k divides n if and only if there exists an integer l such that n is equal to k times l okay so k divides n means we can reach n by taking some number of steps each of length k okay so for example 5 divides 30 okay our 5 is a divisor of 30 because 30 is equal to some integer L, which in this case it's 6 times k, which is 5, is 30. Okay, so now we are ready to define what is the greatest common divisor. So first, uh, let m and n be integers which are not 0. Okay, so choose any integers except 0, any two integers m and n, then the greatest common divisor, so the greatest common divisor, as it says, okay, what, what is the greatest common divisor of m and n, of m and n, is, as it says, it's the largest integer Okay, d such that d is a common divisor of m and n, which means that d divides m and d divides n. Okay. So we denote greatest common divisor by GCD. Okay, so the GCD of m and n, again, it is the maximum integer. So the maximum d in the integers such that d is a common divisor so d divides m and d divides n so this is what is the gcd so so the gcd is uh, is a number it's an integer which integer it's the largest one which divides both so if you want you can think of gcd as a function so here is the gcd the function is z cross z so this is the set of all pairs of integers so let me write here z star sorry z x say where z x means all integers except zero and what is the codomain co this is positive integers you can check it or even this is the range okay so this is a function which takes a pair of integers say uh, <coughs> 3 and 15 okay or 3 and 12 and the G the GCD is a function which will compute its uh, greatest common divisor and you will see here that the greatest number which divides both both is 3 okay so if you want here the GCD of 3 and 12 the image of this input element in the domain is this so we think of this as one element right in in the domain this is the domain it's the set of all these pairs so this is a side remark to to think of gct as function as a function okay let's let's take an example so example let's compute the gcd of 24 and 36 so again, what is the GCD of 24 and 36? It is the greatest common divisor. So first, let, let's list down all the divisors of 24. So 1 is a divisor, 2 is a divisor, 3 is a divisor of 24, right? 4 is, 6 is a divisor, and what's next? 8 is a divisor. Why 8 is a divisor of 24? Because there exists an integer, which namely 3, such that 8 times 3 is 24. 
Okay, now 12 is a divisor and finally 24 is a divisor of itself because 24 is equal to 24 times 1. Okay, now let's compute the divisors of 36. So 1 is a divisor, 2 is, 3 divides 36 because, three, because 36 is equal to 3 times 12. Okay, next 4 is a divisor, 6 is a divisor and then 9 is 12 is a divisor okay 18 is a divisor and finally 36 so these are all the divisors of 36 now we look at the common ones okay so 1 is common 1 is a divisor of both 2 as well 3 as well okay 4 and 6 all of these are common divisors 8 is not, 9 is not, 12 is a common divisor, 18 is not, 36 is not, and 24 is not a common divisor of these two integers. So what is the greatest among all of them? It is this one, among all of the common ones. So now we conclude that the greatest common divisor of 24 and 36 is 12. So let's take another example. What is the GCD, the greatest common divisor of 17 and 22? Okay, this is easy to compute because notice that 17 is a prime number and the only divisors of prime numbers are 1 and 17. So since 17 is not a divisor of 22, so the only common divisor is 1. And so it is the greatest common divisor. Since it's the only one, it is the greatest one. You see that the, the greatest common divisor of 17 and 22 is 1. Now, this case motivates the following definition. Okay, so let's see. We say m and n are called two integers. m and n are called relatively prime. Okay, relatively prime or co-prime okay or co-prime so these are synonyms if and only if the GCD of M and N is 1 so so when two integers are co-prime if there's only one common divisor between them and of course this common divisor must be 1 because the number 1 is always a common divisor Okay, so when the greatest common divisor is 1, which means the only common divisor is 1, we call the numbers co-prime. Okay. Now, similarly, we define what is called the least common multiple so of two numbers. So let m and n be positive integers. So let, now we want them just to be positive. Remember, in the case of GCD, we want them to be non-zero. But here, we want them to be positive then the okay the least common multiple the least common multiple okay of m and n again from the name it's the smallest common multiple okay of m and n is the least positive okay, is the smallest okay, positive integer which is divisible by both m and n okay so it's the smallest positive integer which is divisible by both m and n remember when M divides K, then, okay, I don't say, remember, okay, when M divides L, we say M is a divisor of L, or L is a multiple of M, or M divides L, okay, this is from divisibility, so this, this says that L is a multiple of M or m is a divisor of l okay 
so let me say uh, tell you now write it in a more compact form the least common multiple of m and n is sorry is the minimum element of this set so I look at all positive integers which are multiples of m and n which means that m divides l and n divides l okay so here this means l is a multiple of m l is a multiple of m and we choose the minimum among all of these multiples common multiples this is lcm okay so let's find okay example find the least common multiple of uh, five and th three and five so let's find the multiples of three what are the multiples of three the first multiple is three the second one is six you see i just multiply three by the integer one so zero by the way is a multiple because we multiply zero by three we get zero then one by three is three then six then nine then 12 then 15 then 18 then 21 so we have an infinitely many multiples of 3 now let's compute the multiples of 5 0 is a multiple of 5 5 is a multiple of itself 10 is then 15 then 20 and so on but we can stop here because we found the least multiple positive multiple okay remember that's why here we want the smallest positive integer because 0 is a common multiple of course but we want the least positive one so among the least the positive ones the first one is 15 okay of course there are many more but the least one is 15 so the least common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15 okay now let me give you a quick way to compute uh, G the GCD and LCM, the greatest common multiple and the least common multiple of two numbers. So I want to illustrate this method with an example. Okay, so let's say we want to compute the GCD of 120 and 500. So the first step of this technique is to write the prime factorization of 120. Remember that by the uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic, 120 is the product of primes. So 120 is 2 times 3, sorry, 2 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 1 times 5 to the power 1, okay? So if we multiply 2 with itself 3 times times 3 times 5, you get 120. So this is, these are, so 120 is composed from 3 twos, 1, 3, and 1, 5. Now let's compose... <coughs> Uh, find the prime factorization of 500 this is 2 squared times 5 cubed okay but in this technique we want to include all the primes in both so to solve this problem we just so c3 was in 120 but wasn't in 500 so to, so, so to solve this problem we will just write 3 to the power 0 which is 1 and then um, bring back the 5 cubed okay so I just want that all primes to appear in both the numbers and once we have the prime factorization of both numbers it's very easy to compute the GCD so the GCD of 120 and 500 is equal to 2 to the minimum power of the 2's in, in, the, in both factorization so here we have 3 here and 2 here we look at the exponents of 2 and we choose the minimum one so here it will be 2 to the power 2 okay times 3 to the power now again look at the minimum uh, look at the exponents of 3 and choose the minimum so the minimum is 0 here and then times 5 to the power choose the minimum of 1 and 3 which will be 1 okay so this is sorry this is the gcd so 3 to the power 0 is 1 2 to the power 2 is 4 4 times 5 is 20 so you can check that 20 is the greatest common divisor it's a common divisor it's it divides 120 and 500 and it's the greatest possible 
Okay. On the other hand, to compute the least common multiple of both, so remember what we want, we want a common multiple, which, which means that we want a number, we want a number which will be a multiple of 120 and 500, which means 120 divides this number and 500 divides this number and it's the smallest possible. So we compute it by 2 raised to the maximum power of the powers of 2 in both factorizations. So here we choose 3, and here 3 to the maximum power, one maximum of 1 and 0 is 1, times the maximum exponent of the 5s, which is 3. And when you compute this number, you will see that this is 3000. Okay, so 3000 is the least common multiple. Okay, this means that 120 divides 3000, 1000, which means that 120 is a divisor or 3000 is a multiple of 120, and also 500 divides 3000. And 3000 is the least such one. It's the least common multiple. Okay. Now this method, which we learned here, can be generalized. So what is the method? Say if this is M and this is N, find the prime factorization of M, find the prime factorization of N, then the GCD will be the primes raised to the minimum powers and the LCM will be the primes in the list. In, in the factorization raised to the maximum power. Okay, this ob observation, okay, you need to prove this or convince yourself that this always works, but once you do this, then look, we get this theorem, let m and n be positive integers, then if you multiply m times n, you get the same number as when you multiply the GCD of m and n with the LCM of M and N. Okay, so from from this example, okay, from this example, if you multiply one twenty times five hundred, you will get the same number as multiplying the GCD, which is twenty times the least common multiple. Okay. And this, in both sides, this number is 60,000.